Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the innovator and the generic drugs, right? So what is the basic difference? What is the brand drugs and what is the generic drug, right? So this is the uh, different uh, differences which we are going to discuss now. Innovator means branded drug and generic means generic drug, right? Which is the just like a photocopy or uh, safety and efficacy will be same, but the uh, it is going to have the little bit of the quality compromise and it is the, just uh, the photocopy, right? So coming to the first point, it is protected by patent right the person who has discovered the come the group which has discovered they are going to file the patent and patent will grant and it will be there in under the their patent right whereas the generic drug low cost version of brand right yeah once the patent will expire uh, the different uh, generic drug company they can uh, go for the production for that uh, right so it will be low cost but at, at the same time it can be affordable for the uh, poor people and those who are not able to uh, for the particular price so for them it will be easy to use right that's what it this uh, particular provision it has come second point it is the supplied by the single company the person the company the group which has been uh, patented they are going to only have the authority to produce that uh, otherwise other people they cannot produce it because it is uh, their discovery second in that generic uh, produced by the generic company so the, once the patent will expire so many company are uh, identified in india and outside of india also they they are only manufacturing the generic drugs uh, they are uh, just targeting the patent expired uh, molecules and they are going to have their in different doses form third point initially marketed as new chemical entities under the branded drug or innovator drug it will be marketed as a new chemical entity whereas uh, it is the copies of the innovator so it may be it may not be having that particular uh, name or that particular chemical uh, thing that right that's what it is the just a photocopy the f the fourth one uh, here we can write down the first version sold by the innovator only the first uh, uh, when it will become uh, into the in particular doses form it will be sold by the innovator only further it can be uh, go for the um, uh, production and marketing in uh, in the agreemental basis depend on the innovator right here in the generic case uh, it is produced after original patent expire right uh, once the patent it is not expired and nobody can touch it nobody can manufacture it uh, they have to wait until the patent will expire after uh, once the patent will expire the government itself will give the authority fda will give the authority to produce uh, but, but further uh, approval it is required it's not that the patent expired and you are manufacturing there are also certain approval process that has to go uh, past the particular generic drug also the fifth point suggests under the innovator or in the branded drug marketed under a brand name there will be the particular brand name metformin or something like that right as is uh, in the generic case as safe as and uh, effective as brand but there will not be the particular brand name it will be somewhat other types of name uh, uh, which will be uh, name also it will look like a similar as a brand name only but they will it will not be the branded drug but safety and efficacy wise definitely it is going to fulfill the branded drug the sixth one drug price are decided by the pharmaceutical companies who has patented and who has gone for the first manufacturing they are going to decide the, what is the cost of the particular molecule to develop or to uh, discover to uh, uh, complete the clinical trials uh, preclinical post clinical so many things it will uh, after calculating everything they are going to decide whereas in the patent because already it has been done by the pharmaceutical company uh, it will be drug price are decided by the generic companies like uh, uh, anyway the patent is expired so now what is the exactly uh, cost of manufacturing that only xcpn binder other end and uh, uh, solid doses form liquid doses form parental whatever the formulation they're going to that cost only it will come so that's what it becomes uh, affordable price or less price that's what uh, it is there uh, the seventh one here in the innovator or branded drug nda investigational new drug application supposed to be filed and uh, uh, nda new drug application again supposed to because uh, uh, investigational new drug application it will be filed once the clinical trial it is going to begin and uh, it will pass a new drug application also it has to be filed to the fda and fda will uh, analyze all the data generated during the animal study during the uh, human voluntary study phase 4 study and they are going to give the approval that is required they have to pass the uh, with the proper channel that's what uh, here it is uh, nothing just uh, MAH marketing authorization holder they are going to have uh, the decision on to the how to manufacture what is the quantity large scale 
price in all those things. Coming to the eighth point under innovator or in branded drug, US FDA approves so only one manufacturer that makes uh, or that manufacture and sell under its patent. Right? They are not going to give authority to all that they are, now it has been patented. Now you can no only one pharmaceutical company who has developed that particular drug. They are only having the authority to manufacture and they are only ha having authority to marketing. Here as uh, whereas in the generic drug it can be produced after brand name drugs patent has expired right so it is not that uh, 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 again the further here also they need to take the approval of, from the fda of their particular location and country then only they can uh, but uh, patent expired drug they are going to uh, manufacture otherwise the, the which is under the patent they are not going to touch that so these are the basic difference between the branded and generic drug or innovator and generic drug so you can write down what is the difference between innovator and generic drug and what is the difference between the branded and generic drug so these are the points you can fulfill thank you